Darren here. I'm going to uh, do the part two side of this. I figured I would go ahead and uh, we'll take this off on camera and maybe it'll help somebody. Like I said, I don't work on these very often. I know how to work on them. I just, I just don't mess with them that much anymore. But what we're going to do is uh, we're going to take that carburetor off crack it open, throw it in the dip tank while we're doing all that. We're going to go ahead and drain the uh, fuel tank since it's right there and get it ready for some fresh fuel for cutting grass. My wife will be so happy to cut grass with this. Guys, now we're back. More to come. There are two bolts that are holding this carburetor in place as well as the fuel line is attached to it and the uh, throttle linkage. The bolts are going to be 3 8 they're both the same size. You don't have to worry about putting one in the other one. Just unscrew them, take them off. I'd already done that. And that lets the carburetor hang loose. We have some fuel in the tank. So, what I'm going to do is just go ahead and drain the old fuel into this. So we won't have to worry about all that dripping. There we go. That is going to leave the carburetor exposed. Now, <clears throat> what I would recommend if you're not familiar to uh, this model or this brand, go ahead and take a picture. I take a picture of it just sitting like that. I already have uh, for my own use. Take this guy out, bend it to the side, and pull it off. I was able to keep this, well, there it is. I was able to keep this gasket intact, so that is good. There we go. And the gasket going into. Yes, Edward, hang on, I'll put you on camera. There's Edward. Damn cat. Give him the one eye, Edward. There you go. You got the one eye, too. The gasket going into the head is also intact as well. I'm not going to replace those. So, all we're going to do now is crack this carburetor open and take a look okay, at what's guys. inside. More That's the carburetor. It's a half inch bolt that holds the bowl in place and there is a lot of water in this fuel. I'll tell you that. There we go. The gasket sits still intact. And if you look down in here it's about, you see all the water floating beneath the gas. Kind of sloshing around. So, that is not good. There we go. I'm going to clean this guy out. This gasket appears to be in pretty good shape as well. This is the float. And that's the hinge. Or the bar that allows it to hinge. And that is the needle and the float. That is one of the ones that does not have a rubber tip. So that tells you that there's going to be a rubber tip o-ring down inside here. So, but the stuff I use, it won't swell the o-rings, so that is okay. So the guy is going in just like this. I'm gonna let it cook for about, I don't know, 10 or 15 minutes. Now, we're back, more to come. Spin you around have it in the ultrasonic cleaner and we're going to turn some heat on it we're going to set the timer for 480 seconds there we go actually you can see it starting to uh, work and shake up all the loose junk that's in there. It's almost time for me to go ahead and clean all that stuff out of that tank. But this thing will be, uh, I'll run it two more times and that should get it all clean. There it goes. You can see it all starting to fizz and bubble. I love my ultrasonic cleaner. You can also clean your pistol. Take it apart. Uh, put it in there. You have to oil it really good after you get it out though. Works really good. Hey guys, now we're back. We're coming, guys. And obviously another day has passed. I've uh, got that carburetor soaked. Pulled it out of the ultrasonic cleaner and we're going to get ready, throw it back together and put it on here and get this guy cranked up. 
before we do that, I want to mention uh, Sulphur City Designs. Uh, thank you very much for uh, what you did as far as contributing uh, to the uh, 1,000 subscriber blowout on uh, Southern Off-Road Mowers. And it's a good segue into Southern Off-Road Mowers. Go to it and post some junk or not, but we like it when you do. The ATLTF.com. Uh, it's a fantastic forum for builds, uh, questions about a build, how to go about doing it. Uh, threads that will carry you through different builds if you want to model your build after someone else's. And uh, I want to mention these guys that have uh, subscribed. It's M-I-N-R-L-W-T-R. -R, Mineral Water. Thanks for subscribing, man. I appreciate it. Cullen Dargas, thank you very much. And now also I also want to show you, this is something else that came in. Uh, it's a little two-cycle. I say I don't work on two-cycle. Um... I don't and I do. I tell people on the older two cycles uh, that come in, unless it is something like a steel brand or a Ryobi, I think you can get parts. Or No, I'm sorry, steel brand or an Echo. Um, a lot of them are not that well made and they're made to die. So I tell people I will uh, take a look at them, go through them. Normally it's a carburetor. It's gumped up or it's out of adjustment or the filters clogged. So I'll tear it apart, go through the carburetor, uh, look at it, clean it up, replace the diaphragm uh, in the carburetor if I need to, and get it all back together, and it'll cost around $20 to do it. It takes about an hour, so I figure that's a fair price. If it is something more than that, I won't go into it or do it because they could buy a carburetor for $45 off of eBay and they're going to put it in this guy and it's going to run maybe one more year when they could go ahead and just buy a new one for eighty dollars or ninety dollars and uh, use it for two or three seasons so i tell them put twenty dollars into it and i can tell you and most of the time i can get it to where it'll run for another year for them and that's about all uh the others i hate to say weed eater brand stuff like that that's about all i can do for them but got to work on that in a minute this is this guy I'm talking a lot more to come okay guys now I'll show you what I'm doing <clears throat> I have poured a little bit of uh, new fresh gasoline into it through it I left this thing sit out so hopefully whatever water was in there that did not come out will evaporate or will come out in this empty little water bottle I always try to keep one laying around somewhere in the garbage can or in the uh, uh, paint box. That being the paint box. Uh, just for this. It looks like it's finished up. And now we can get back to putting the carburetor back together again. More to come. Okay guys, let me get us zoomed in. We're going to put this carburetor back together. The bowl gasket is still good and it is intact. The float had no cracks and it actually floats, so that's good. There's the needle valve right there. I'm going to set that guy in place. There we go. That little hinge pin slides right in. The bowl itself fits on it, fits inside the gasket nicely. The little gasket it goes over the nut. Oh, it's being contrary. There we go. Ah, there. Felt it bite. There we go. Now, I'm going to get this thing tightened up. Okay. We're going now, to put it in place. More to come. Gotten this thing back on. It's a half inch. Bolt it back in place. And now we're going to put it up. Oh, there we go. Get where you can see it. We're going to connect the linkage to the butterfly here. And it's going to go back on. 
like that. The gasket is still good and it's intact. So it's going back on just like that. There we go. And oh, sorry, didn't mean to hit that. And now I've got the bolts going back in. These are 3 8 bolts. <clears throat> Get that started. They're both the same size, so you don't have to worry about it going on. Or putting a long one and a short one. There's that. We'll get it all snugged up. Alright. I'll put the fuel line on. You've seen that done before. <clears throat> We're going to put the uh, air cleaner bottom cover back on. Get this guy put back together. It's basically it. We're going to crank it up. More to come. Okay, guys. Base of the air cleaner went on next. Those are 5 sixteenths. There were three of them, remember? And remember, I forgot the one in the corner. Now we're going to put the shroud back on, back in place. Two Phillips heads going in. Everybody laughs about my oriental carpets that I buy at yard sales, but this is why I have them. It's easier on your knees. And like I said, if anybody ever asks me, I don't work on push mowers or two cycle stuff. But it seems like I always work on push mowers and two cycle stuff. I'm going to put some gas in it, going to clean the carburetor out. Or, I'm sorry, going to clean uh, the spark plug out. Um, and then I think we're going to be ready to crank it up. Odds are good it will crank. <laughs> there we go. That one's done. And yes, it normally smokes that bad. I like to think it sprays for mosquitoes at the same time. Two for one. It's been running for about 15, 20 minutes now. And, uh... I swear, I, I think this will be its last year. I changed the oil, and there was a lot of metal in the oil. Of course, it's, you know, got it for $10 seven years ago, so. And it's been running ever since, and I don't know if there's much bearing left, if any, because there's always been metal in the oil. But I changed it out, sharpened the blade, nothing to that. Y'all have seen that done before. So, that's it. For this video, I was going to go ahead and get started wiring in the uh, winch, but I may still have a little bit of time to go ahead and do that today. I'll do that on a separate video. Thanks guys, I really appreciate it. Uh, don't forget, we've got the drawing coming at the end of the month. Why do I have it at the end of the month? Well, because YouTube pays me at the end of the month. Y'all gonna make some mayhem.